Hey guys, welcome to Motivation Medicals. I'm Dr. Hada Reza and I'm a dentist. I am also a position holder in my university and I run a page on Instagram called Odontify32 where I help dental students with their academics. So today I'll be talking about some study tips and exam tips. I really hope that this helps you out. Starting with the contents of what I'll be discussing, making a to-do list, time management, studying smart, and my study technique. So how to make an effective to-do list? We have to break it down to long-term and short-term goals. Short-term tasks are the ones that you fulfill on a daily basis. For example, finishing at least a chapter a day. Longer-term goals are those which you would want to achieve in the future. For example, you want to be a gold medalist, or you want to be the best surgeon there is. Whatever gives you the drive to stay motivated. The second thing I find important in exam prep is the time management. Being a medical, dental, or in fact, in any field, it always feels as though you're always short of time. The course is so extensive, sometimes you don't know where to start. But I'll tell you the key is to start from the beginning. Time is of prime importance. I always studied to prepare myself for the final revision that I needed before my exams. You should make yourself so prepared that you feel confident as you go in the exam room. Be someone today who your future self would thank. Try and observe how long it takes for you to finish a chapter and keep that time slot free for every day. It varies for everyone. I took out around three hours of my day in the evening and one hour before uni started to revise the previous lectures. Most importantly, I locked my phone away. This study time should be free of procrastination and full of dedication. Study smart, but also study hard. You would be unstoppable. Focus on high yield questions. Prioritize most asked questions in exams. You can't memorize everything. My study technique consists of three basic steps. First up was understanding the context. I would read through the chapter of my textbook and my lecture notes, and I'd underline any important high yield points. After reading the chapter, I'd take an A4 paper and write down one word or the simplest form of what I wanted to remember in each chapter. So that gave me a condensed, easy to revise, flashcard-like compact note on one page. Coming on to how I memorized it, now I had that one page of condensed important points to memorize from, and I would refer to the textbook if needed. I would memorize by asking myself questions and checking my answers. If I'd get anything wrong, I'd memorize that point again. Now coming to the most important point, active recall. Studies show that this technique is the most effective when it comes to revision. Cramming is the worst. Now how do we do this? Let's say if I revise a chapter today with the notes I made and question myself, I'd open the same chapter after three days and test myself again. This technique helps move the memories from your short-term to long-term memories, which will help you associate the answers quicker in your final exam.